into the bit with footsteps and doors. I know. That's, and this is why it's so frustrating because we're getting all that activity but yet we can't physically see something. No, and the trouble is, I can't. What's this? Oh. Wow, look at that door. Look at that. What the fuck was that? Right, I've just heard something through there. Hello? Hello? Can you show yourself to us, whoever you are? We're back at those stairs that go to the top. Yeah, that wasn't anything, that was just this natural... I, just, I want to go through that door. I want to go through this door here. I don't know why, I just do. This is beautiful old, I mean, look at that, absolutely stunning. The amount of people that have walked through here. Oh, that's what I've, I have actually just walked into this room. Through that door there. Oh, oh this is the, the, the shop. You know what, Stu? That's just a shop. Right. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was your sign, that. Hello? Hello? to this room like that. Hello? I definitely heard something. Close or move. So it's you. No, no. Is it not you? No. I've just been talking to the camera. A hand dryer has just gone off. I, I heard it in the distance. And I don't know where the bathroom is around here. I really don't know. And there's only us in the building. That's why I've just got a comfort. It came from down there. I'm going to follow you. Hello? You heard it, didn't you? Yeah. Right. It was in the distance, though, yeah. so... It was, in, it was in this vicinity. We've been down there before, haven't we? Yeah, we just came down there because this is where we heard the door close. Well, I did. I'm not sure whether you heard it at all. You went in downstairs. Here we go. Let's do it. Listen. <laughs> Hello? That door was open before, Carl. I got it on camera. Carl? Oh, it's open. It's open now. Hello? Is anyone in in here? Well, the air dryer was on. Eh? Yeah, the dryer was on. Oh, isn't that cool? Hey. There's, there's, no, there. there's no one in there. No, there's, the only thing you've got is a kitchen the other side. Right. Now I don't know if anyone's in the kitchen. I don't know why there would be anyone in the kitchen, but I mean that is definitely a toilet and that is... Yeah, 
So the hand dryer would have come from that room then? I mean, I, I assume so. There's no one in it. There's a, a people in there. Yeah, humans in there. I, I, but why? Well, the, them things only work if it... Was it a put... Was it I, I, put I, I, to the bottom look. or was it a sensor, sensor dryer? I didn't look. It's probably just a sensor dryer, I thought. Well, either way, something's made that happen and it wasn't us and we've yeah. got that on camera. Let me have a quick look, you. just to see if it is now. Yeah, it's a sense. It's a sensor, but it went on for longer. I just put my hand under it and took my hand away, right. and it Perfect. went off almost immediately. Perfect. Well, we so were listening to it. It went off for longer. So that means something had its hand or was underneath it for longer. That's right. And then things don't go off on their own. No, they can't do. That's poltergeist activity. That. Yep. Wow. <sighs> Holy shit. That is incredible. Thank you, whoever you are. You've been listening to us now, aren't they? Aren't they just? We're here and you can hear our voices and you can see us. Thank you very much. Now then, what else do you have in store for us? What other things are you going to do? That was right then. Uh, with the door, that heard either from that room or up there, makes sense. So that door yeah. will come from up there because of the dryers up there as well. And that was only within two, three minutes yeah. of themselves. Thank you. It's there's no people, there's no person in there. And you say you've got the keys on you, Carl? The keys for the door, yeah. Are they they're, actually they're on the deadlock. person? Yeah, they're deadlocked. Right, okay. And I'm not saying there's a back door or a window someone couldn't get in, but... Yeah, well, I think everything's going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah, but they've got my number, so if they want to get in, they'll let me know. They call me if you want to come in. All right. <sighs> the longer you spend in this rather remarkable place, the more intriguing it becomes. Hey, Stu. Let's cover more space. What do, you, do you want to go downstairs? Sure. The cellar's there. Yeah. You go to the cellar because what, what could possibly go wrong with you in a cellar? <laughs> Down here, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, I'm just going to go around here as much as I possibly can, see what I get up with. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Stu, um, I'll try and find you. Yeah, I'll stay yeah. If you've got any problems, yeah, shout. I've got my phone on. Okay. So, call if need be. We've got a Christmas tree there. Yep. Merry Christmas, folks. Merry Christmas. Wow, I can't believe what's just happened up there. You think after 20 years, I'd be used to this now, but clearly not. They know we're here now. They, they know that. That's it. I don't need to qualify that in any way. They can hear us. They can see us. Now, I'm going to go down to this basement slash cellar, whatever you want to call it, depending on what part of the world you live in. Are they going to follow me down here? I don't know. Part of me wants them to follow me. The other half doesn't. 
I don't know which one I want, whether I want them to come or whether I don't. Now, I'm here, obviously, because we want things to happen. So I'm just talking now, I'm just, I'm just rambling on. It's such a beautiful, beautiful place. Full of such <sighs> stories. Well, we're already having a good, a good bit. I just don't know what, what what's about to happen. What's through here? Ah, okay. Right, okay, we've been down here before because I opened that door there. That's the old medieval ones. I'm assuming it's oh, that's that door just closing normally. I think I'm going to go upstairs again into the attic through here. is I breathe very heavily, or I seem to be, and it's only because the camera is very close. Uh, the mic is very close to the mouth. Wow. And so, he says falling down the stairs. Oh. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> A little bit out. Not as fit as I should be. Oh, and here we are back up at the top. Right. Don't know where the lights are. Maybe this will do it. And that will do it. It's all right, Stuart. You, you're fine. You're okay. You don't need to worry about anything. I've just gone quiet for, for a few seconds I'm just gathering my thoughts really. Um, I'm still digesting what's gone on upstairs and why it went on upstairs and what the reasoning is behind it. Um, just got to accept it really, what's gone on. It's nothing bad, it's just intriguing. But yeah, the withers. Whether they're down here with me now, or whether someone's with Carl, no, I really don't know. It just seems to be a lot of doors and footsteps. The hand dryer, that, the hand dryer is just amazing. Because that has to be done by a human. If you're here then, you can see me. I'm here. You can hear my voice. Come and pick something up and throw it. Come and throw it with some force if you can. Come and hurt me. Come and get one of these chairs. Come on. Come and get one of these chairs and just twat me round the back of the head with it if you can. Because I'll definitely know you're here then. I think we'll all know. Come and move this sofa. Come and move this table here. 
I'm sure you're pretty good people who are with us, the spirits who are here. I think you're, you're sound people. I don't think you're bad. I don't think you're evil in any way. The only negative thing down here is me. And I say negative because I've sworn and I've asked you to do something that you would never have done back in the day. I asked you to pick a chair up and wrap it round the back of my neck. And that's a negative thing, it's not a positive thing. Depends on what side of the fence you're on. Yes, that's right, I'm here. Come on then. Thank you. One of those chairs that sounded like the top chair, could be wrong, it creaked. I'm going to keep talking, yep, I'm going to keep talking. Like I say, the, the negative thing down here is me, not you. I'm... I'm the negative one because I'm asking for something bad to happen. And I know you're not bad people. I'm the baddie. But like I said, it depends on what side of the fence you're on. If you was to pick this chair up here, this, pick it up. And put that as hard as you can over my back or the back of my head. Now... For the people who are into the paranormal, and for all the scientists and boffins out there, yeah, that would prove a point. But you'd also kill me as well at the same time. But I'm asking you to do that. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or clever in any way. I'm just trying to show the people out there what's available. That you can hear us, and that not that you can take orders, but in a nice way, do something... That we're going to ask you to do. Like, you know, move the chair. Do something to me. But I must, can't stress enough. I don't mean you any harm or disrespect whatsoever. I don't mean you anything like that. I'm a good person deep down. We just need, us humans, in 2021, that's the year we're in now. November. I've just seen a shadow near that door. I don't believe the door moved, but a shadow just went across the bottom where that shadow was at the bottom of that door, if that makes sense. That I've just seen, not on the camera, with my own eyes. My own eyes, not eyes that I've borrowed from anyone, mine. Okay, come and walk across that door again if you can. Yes, I know you're here. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly. I appreciate everything you're doing. If you still like to come and do something to me, you can do. Now, you've got no reasoning to do that. I know that. You're only going to do it if I ask you to. If you choose to. I've got this feeling that something... And it, all it is is just a feeling that something's going to happen. And I don't know what. But that's all it is, is a feeling. I'm not saying that anything is going to happen. Look at that door. Look how old that door is. That there, guys, is modern day ventilation. Oh. Outside sounds. There's no inside sounds. There's no. Because sometimes I think these these hauntings are residual, so they just happen whether we ask for them to happen or not. Please, can you make a sound? I find it 
exhilarating sometimes. I'm standing here in this thoroughfare of what would have had people one, two, three hundred years ago walking backwards and forwards their daily lives. The history, you see the wallpaper, as I said, the glass windows. It's just remarkable to be able to do this. Hello? As I was talking, I just had to know. Hello? <laughs> Fuck me. Right, okay. That went again. I heard a noise, like I thought it was. I'm going to go through here first because I thought I heard, I heard like a hum. Like, well, more melodious than that, but it's not a bird, it's not a pigeon. It's like, and then that went, oh, we've had that before. as I can possibly, possibly make it. Ah, oh, now this is the room where Stuart heard footsteps at the other end. Was that hello? Hello? That was a loud bang in the in room. Through that door. I know, I know, I know, I know. I should be going right into it at this present moment. Hello? If you're here... And you made that noise... Can you do it again? Bloody loud. That door. It wasn't it wasn't like that door, was it? I thought that door was wide open. Did you move the door? <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. I mean, there's no one in here. I've done that really quick turn around there. There's there. There's behind that wall. I mean, I can show you in here. There's fucking. I mean, no one's. No one's going to be in there, are they? If they are, they got the walls. Oh, look like a demon. There are such things. Okay. Oh, right, that happened. 
happened when I was down here. That door's still where it was. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, why don't I put that there? I'm going to walk down there and see if the noise happens again. This is creepy stuff, this. Very creepy, very, very creepy. Do you see this piece of wood here? This. And that vent. For all the viewers at home, you can see this. This vent. And the brickwork and the mortar. All this here. That was there long before you was born, long before I was born. This piece of pipe that's here, that was there long before most of us was born. But more to the point, I'd like to know something about the people who, who put that there, who put that, who cut the wood to size and placed that wood there for that vent. I'm rambling on. I generally do that when I get nervous. I just talk. I turn the fucking lights off, don't I? Silly shit like that. I get nervous and then I fucking turn the lights off. And I wonder why I start getting nervous and getting anxious. And my anxiety levels start going through the roof. So what do I do? I turn the lights off versus leaving them on. That's a good good call that Stuart, you dick. <clears throat> you see when I get like this I start having arguments in my mind about what to do, where I should be, should I put the lights on, should I leave them off? You know, what would you want at home? Would you want the lights on or would you want them off? But I listen to what you're saying, so I do it, I act on it, so I've turned the lights off. Even though sometimes I have to suffer inside. There we go, listen. Carl? Has he come down? Carl, have you come down? No, he's not. Nothing. I know what that was. That came from here. Thank you. Let's see if anything's on the floor. Okay. I told you that's what it was before. I knew that. Uh, I told you, didn't I? It was one of the top of the chairs. Right, that's what we've just heard now. But, uh, maybe if I stand here now, can you move one of these chairs or tip? Tip a stack of these chairs over if you can. This is a, 
a camera that I'm holding. This object here that I'm pointing at, um, this is a, it's called a television camera. And I'm filming the stack of chairs here. And what I'd like you to do, whoever you are, is to push these chairs over. Come on, you've got the power now to do this. You can do this all by yourself. Come on, you can push these chairs over. You've just made the sound. So just go all out and push over those chairs. Come on. All right then, so you want to bang on that, do you? That's okay. I don't even know what that is. Let's draw it. Okay then, copy this then. That wasn't the wood creaking before guys just so you know that was something someone who banged on the table but it was just one bang please repeat this come on I know you can do it thank you whoever you are Why can't you do it again? If there's anything you need, I can give it to you. Anything at all you require, I can give to you. All I want you to do is bang on this table. Come on. By rights, I should have been running out of here after that, but I'm staying here, I'm staying calm, I'm staying calm, I'm not going to run off, I'm not going to start screaming, I think as, I think as time has gone on, I don't know if I'm coming more braver, um, I think I'm becoming more of a wimp if I'm being honest. I don't know why, you think it'd be the opposite. But it is what it is and that's what's happening. I can't change that. Can you do one more thing? Just anything at all, if you can turn the lights on. Come and walk around me. Move these chairs. Come on, do this. I know everyone's going to say, why well, didn't leave the camera in here? But it's not going to happen in front of the camera, is it? Never bloody does. The fuck was that? Hello? That was a thud, and it'll go from in there now. Hello? Shit. That was one hell of a thud. Let me have a bit more. Come on, if you're here, and I know you are, show yourself to me. If you're going to make noises, make a noise so I can see you. 
Make a noise so it's not just in the distance. It's great making the noises and doing what you're doing, but I really do want to see you. I want to experience what you're doing. Experience who you are. Show me yourself, please. Oh, come on. Look at me. What the fuck? Fucking not. No, it's not. Hello? Hello? Fucking door is jammed. Fuck me. I don't know. That door just slammed shut. Well, it didn't lock, but it slammed shut. I think fuck it opened. I think I've had enough up here now. I think I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna go find Stu. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see Stu. Put this back on. Thank you. We'll do it again. So I'm walking out, that will be fab. Oh, wow. What a great place. Uh, Yep. It's Carl right, so that wasn't Carl then. Like, but I can hear him now coming down the stairs. Stu? Yep. Oh fuck, you scared the shit out of me then. You alright? Yeah. Just talking to myself in there then. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Time's really limited, isn't it? This is the first time you've come down, isn't it? Yeah, this is, yeah. Because okay. I just heard you walking above. That's okay. As long as I know. That's the only time I'll come down these stairs. Right, lovely. Right. It's all down there. Okay. Oh, happy? Nice. Very happy. Good. Oh, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. It's a scary place. I've had it for over now. Oh, man. It's all right. I'm going to come back. Yeah, let's go. Come on, and with that, we end our most haunted extra at Delaprey Abbey. Until next time, sleep tight.